Hello, and welcome to this ASMR video. Today we're going to be talking about body image and how to feel more comfortable in your body. Ever since I was young, my body was not acceptable by societal standards and because of that, it became unacceptable to me. But when I look back, when I was very young, I wasn't even aware of my body. I didn't look at myself in the mirror and criticize every little thing. I was just alive in a body. And that's kind of how I imagine it would feel like to master body neutrality if I could just exist without really thinking about it, without criticizing it, without judging it. It's gonna take a little bit of work to get there. Um, so I wanted to share my journey, maybe talking about it, help somebody else. So as I grew up, I became super self-aware, super self-conscious because I was made aware, because I was made aware that there was something wrong with me. And when there's something wrong, the obvious conclusion is that you have to fix it. So that's what I did. And starting in my teenage years, I started trying to fix my body. And at first it worked because I was able to lose some weight and I was still extremely self-aware and had to be so controlled throughout my actions every single day because I knew if I wasn't, I would go back. I would go back to being the way I was, maybe. But of course, that couldn't last forever. And as soon as I relaxed, as soon as I stopped being so controlling over it, um, my body kind of just went back to its natural form. And that's where the vicious cycle can start for a lot of people. Sometimes our bodies are just not meant to look like what we want them to look like. There are certain genetic limitations to what our bodies can do. And it becomes extremely toxic when we try to use our mind and our willpower to wage war against our bodies, to make them appear how we want them to appear. And that is not a solution. That's not a long-term solution. The problem was never my body. That's something that I've come to realize. The problem was the society I grew up in and their mentality, which rubbed off onto me. And now I'm trying to get rid of that. My job at this point in my life is, is a two-parter. Because one is I can still make changes that would make me more comfortable in my body but I can't change it enough to turn it into something else that is never it was never meant to be so the second part of my job is to accept my body as it is and like I said become more neutral about it become less self-aware less self-conscious and kind of just detach from it a little bit. I don't mean that in like a depersonalization way, but just detach from the idea that I am this body, that I'm limited to this body. P is really good at this. She's really good at not overly identifying with her body. She's slightly detached from it. And when I observe her, I feel like that's such a healthy place to be at because our bodies will change, our bodies will grow old, they'll do a bunch of things that maybe we don't want them to do. And if you're overly identified with it, that can cause a lot of pain. And so it's good to know the difference between you and your vessel, your body. So of course we can make changes that can make us more comfortable in our bodies. We can make slight alterations that could make our experience more comfortable but at the end of the day it is what it is I'm not going to be able to fundamentally change this body it's pretty much gonna be like the way it is and 
the more I can appreciate it for what it is, the healthier my relationship with it becomes. And then I can appreciate the slight alterations that I can make. Because in the past, when I was trying to change my body, I was trying to make it something that is completely different than what it is. And with that kind of mentality, I would never be happy. It would never look exactly the way I want it to look. That would always give me problems. It would make me feel uncomfortable. It would make me feel a lot of self-hatred. But when I'm working on accepting it for what it is, it's really an act of self-love. Um, and I can finally appreciate when those little changes do happen in the direction that I want them to happen. And I'm only able to appreciate those changes because I was accepting it where it was. You can't change your body from a place of hatred. You have to work with it. Whatever changes you are planning on making, they have to be so incremental, so small, that you barely even notice it. That's the only way to make a lasting change. But the most important thing is the ability to feel comfortable in your body now, as it is, even if it's not exactly where you want it to be. Because one day in the future, when you look back, you're going to be really upset that you didn't appreciate your body then. Because this is the youngest you'll ever be. I'll work on accepting it when I get to that point, obviously. But it's good to get the practice in now. Because like, if I can't accept it at this stage, what are the chances that I can accept it when I'm older? Oh, another thing that helped me a lot is finding a role model because oftentimes in the media, you know, we're only presented with one body type or just one standard of beauty. And if you can find somebody that you find attractive that looks similar to you, you'll find it's a lot easier to appreciate yourself when that becomes what you're looking up to instead of something completely different that you will never be able to achieve. So find somebody who's similar looking to you. It's a lot easier to appreciate somebody else than to be able to appreciate yourself. So you can kind of use that as a hack. That's what I did. Um, I found somebody that I have a crush on and that I look a little bit similar to and through loving them and appreciating them, I made it easier to love me and appreciate me but easier said than done. It takes a lot of practice to rewire the stuff going on up here. Um, society's expectations can really mess us up in big ways, but we still have the power to change that. And through changing this, this is all gonna be okay. It's not my body's job to change, to please my brain. It's my brain's job to accept and appreciate my body for what it is. Otherwise, it's like the most abusive relationship ever. Can you imagine being in a relationship with someone and you just want them to change to fit your ideals? That would be so unloving and abusive. But that's the kind of relationship we have with our own bodies, with ourselves. I guess it would help to think about your body as a person that you love. You would accept them exactly the way they are because you love them for who they are and their uniqueness. That's what you love. So I'm hoping to unbrainwash myself, hopefully, and it's going well so far. You do have to put a little bit of conscious effort into it though, I find. It doesn't just happen automatically. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes consistent mental practice to rewire it, just like it did to wire it in the first place. It took a lot of repetition to convince you of certain things as being a reality and they're not. Reality is not a given. Reality is just a consensus amongst a bunch of people. So you can just, you can create your own reality on what you believe is true, on what you believe is beautiful, on what you believe is healthy and honestly a lot of the consensus reality is kind of hijacked by capitalism so 
it's not natural for almost every woman I've met to have body image issues. Like, that is not natural. That does not sound healthy to me. Like, I have a friend who is a literal yoga instructor. Like, she is fit. And she still has body image issues? Like, are you kidding me? No. There's something wrong with the culture. That's not... There's nothing wrong with the individuals at that point. Like, it's literally something is wrong with the culture. But anyway, so... Gotta get ourselves out of this toxic mindset. And this could apply to many things. Doesn't have to just be about your body or your weight. It could be about another insecurity that you might have. Another image of perfection that you're trying to work yourself up to that you're never going to reach because we're human. That was supposed to be kind of the beauty of it, is that we're imperfect. Anyway, like I said, think of somebody else. Think of somebody outside of you and how lovable they are in their imperfections. And that might help you come to terms with your own imperfections. That's about it for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.